<laughs> Here is Kobe to the baseline for the slam. He's got 10. And the foul is on Chicago. You see Kobe going baseline and he elevates with two hands. And he jumps off the wrong foot, which throws Luke Longley off balance. And he's here to get back into it. Intercepted by Bryant. Jordan is back with him. Kobe. Foul by Michael. And before the shot, no basket. And when you got the young legs and the young energy, you want to keep pushing. You want to keep forcing the envelope. You don't want to let Chicago rest. Every chance you get, you want to push the ball up court just as L.A. is doing. Be Shaq and Kobe, and we talked with Shaquille O'Neal about that. Throughout the history of basketball, every great team <clears throat> always had a one-two punch. Isaiah and Lambeer, Magic and Kareem, Bird and McHale, and I think uh, myself and Kobe Bryant will uh, uh, become our one-two punch. You know, he has, he's, uh, he has a, a great heart, great scoring ability. You know, to the lane! And he was fouled at 7 Eastern, 6 Central on NBC tonight. That's still his career high, and this is second season. There's probably some wiggle room, but he hasn't said it. And there is Bryant reminding us that just in case Michael, Michael goes, there'll still be some excitement left in the NBA. And we got Kobe coming down, doing his Jordan imitation, the scoop. You know, he comes down and he gives him the up fake, up and under, finger roll off the glass. It's our game. It was the ultimate playground game. Speaking of playground, Kobe goes behind the back and then drops it through. See, it, it's showtime now in the form. You got Kobe behind the back, reversed off the glass. See, he, he brings him baseline, and then he stops, shift, takes it behind his back, Pippen goes by him, and then he goes up real with a nice and soft touch. I know his daddy didn't teach him that move, because Joe Jellybean Bryant didn't have that. <laughs> he's a smart player, you know, and what he's trying to do right now is he wants to touch Michael Jordan. He wants to feel him, you know, he wants to know that he's human. And he doesn't want Michael to think that he's backing down from the challenge. However, he respects him, and he wants to get close enough to him so he can rob corner, hip it up on him. Fires over it, and hits! shot back in L.A. with Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. Now, a lot was said before this game, like, this wasn't a statement game, it's just another game. But you guys did make a statement that you guys are no joke. We just wanted to be the great Bulls team at home, and, you know, uh, a lot of times, Kobe gets credit and I get credit, but today, I think Corey Blunt and Mario uh, Bennett was our inspiration. You know, those guys uh, never get much playing time, but they came in, they rebounded the ball well, and we just did what we were supposed to do, win at home. And Kobe, you know, there's so much made about the matchup between you and Michael Jordan, the heir apparent. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, tonight I just really wanted to come out and play hard against them, and, uh, you know, I played a lot with my emotions. And I just needed to relax and let the game come to me a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's a learning experience, and I love matching up with Mike. It's a great challenge for me. All right, I will see both of you in New York next weekend. We'll have an all-star time, all right? You know it. Love you, Mommy. Love you, Tracy. Love you, Mommy. <laughs> all right, back to you, Bob. <laughs> all right, Ahmad. One more commercial break, and Isaiah Thomas will rejoin us. We'll wrap things up from the Great Western Forum in a minute.